And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Love does not consist of gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched, they are felt with the heart. True love begins when nothing is looked for in return. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves, and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Well, I must endure the presence of a few caterpillars if I wish to become acquainted with the butterflies. You see, one loves the sunset when one is so sad. The important thing is to strive toward a goal which is not immediately visible. That goal is not the concern of the mind, but of the spirit. You become responsible forever for what you have tamed. I shall look at you out of the corner of my eye, and you will say nothing. Words are the source of misunderstandings. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Perfection is achieved, not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. If you want to build a ship, don't drum up the men to gather wood, divide the work, and give orders. Instead, teach them to yearn for the vast and endless sea. No single event can awaken within us a stranger whose existence we had never suspected. To live is to be slowly born. I have no right to say or do anything that diminishes a man in his own eyes. What matters is not what I think of him, but what he thinks of himself. Hurting a man in his dignity is a crime. Love consists of not looking each other in the eye, but of looking outwardly in the same direction. I am who I am and I have the need to be. But the conceited man did not hear him. Conceited people never hear anything but praise. To forget a friend is sad. Not everyone has had a friend. It is much more difficult to judge oneself than to judge others. If you succeed in judging yourself rightly, then you are indeed a man of true wisdom. No one is ever satisfied where he is. He who is different from me does not impoverish me. He enriches me. Our unity is constituted in something higher than ourselves, in man, for no man seeks to hear his own echo or to find his reflection in the glass. What saves a man is to take a step, then another step, it is always the same step, but you have to take it. A single event can awaken within us a stranger totally unknown to us. To live is to be slowly born. But eyes are blind. You have to look with the heart. Men have no more time to understand anything. They buy things already made at the shops, but there is no shop anywhere where one can buy friendship, and so men have no friends anymore. Only the children know what they are looking for. 
In every crowd are certain persons who seem just like the rest, yet they bear amazing messages. No individual is isolated. He who is sad saddens others. Each man must look to himself to teach him the meaning of life. It is not something discovered, it is something molded. Even though human life may be the most precious thing on earth, we always behave as if there were something of higher value than human life. Behind all seen things lies something vaster. Everything is but a path, a portal or a window opening on something other than itself. I know but one freedom, and that is the freedom of the mind. Pure logic is the ruin of the spirit. Life does not cease to be funny when people die any more than it ceases to be serious when people laugh. The arms of love encompass you with your present, your past, your future, the arms of love gather you together. 4. To conceited men, all other men are admirers. It is in the compelling zest of high adventure and of victory and in creative action that man finds his supreme joys. Only the unknown frightens men. But once a man has faced the unknown, that terror becomes the known. True happiness comes from the joy of deeds well done, the zest of creating things new. Those who pass by us do not go alone and do not leave us alone. They leave a bit of themselves and take a little of us.